I had to take some parcels to the thrift store yesterday and which is great because I sold stuff and I sold more stuff last night so that is good even though I don't get to list stuff if I'm too busy wrapping up the boxes but I guess that is a great scenario anyway when I go to the post office there are so many thrift stores and other stores that I want to check which is horrible and I, I felt like there's lots of dollar stores and there's there's a Walmart and I have to go I have to go it's an hour away walk I took my bike though because it's still it's not snowing or anything yet I uh, <sighs> losing train of thought again I felt I was feeling like I had I mean uh, such a bad such a bad habit of shopping it's it's a shopping addiction and I bought and I bought something it's insane because I'm getting rid of everything and today that's what we're doing we're going to be getting rid of clothes but I bought this bag of hangers and there's really only one hanger that I want to keep but I do know that I'll do whatever it takes there's a few things that I own that uh, I've been collecting my entire adult life and I mean there's stuff that I have from before my adult life actually that I probably will be taking with me but I do collect a certain type of hanger and this one seemed really special even though it came with this original paper on it I don't know I don't know if this is true but this this will tell you how old I really am oh no it says right here it says phone nine phone oh, wait does it say phone I don't even, I don't even have my glasses on home oh homes maybe it said phone I don't know it said pioneer on it that's my whole thing pioneer Canada laundry this paper is probably older than I'm gonna have to I'm, I do have to rip this oh I don't have to rip it off it's just a slide I could keep that if I wanted keep it I'm gonna have to look more into this right now how old this is my hands are getting dirty with this stuff and you can read this I can't read this I don't know why I don't have glasses nearby me anyway I collect hang these hangers I always collected wooden um, old wooden hangers and I used to have so many more there were the curved version and the, ref the flat version but I decided just to keep the flat version because you can fit more into your closet and you can pull them out more easily and uh, that's what I collect and we're gonna go see that now now I do have other I have a, I have one of these hanging in my bathroom actually right now off of the window but I mean also old-fashioned hangers I guess these are more luggage hangers or I guess I I guess I don't keep these M maybe there's gonna be a box of old antiques that I do keep but one of the boxes that I make oh, here's the thing I really regret while I was here I really re regret not having that open like I've got this beautiful walk-in closet and I just stuffed it with boxes of toys well because I had no other option because I had so much stuff so that's but one of these boxes am I naive in, in thinking oh man I might be a little naive in thinking the amount of hangers I can have can fit in one of those boxes I would might have to use two of those boxes to keep my hanger collection because as you can see it's quite extensive and today what we're doing which I probably should have said I guess the title of this video will be I'm gonna get rid of all those because this is this is the classic tank top that I really should have been wearing and not buying these flashy fun things wasted my time energy and money and space usually the tank tops were over here and I put, put the shirts but I just swapped them out and I I don't know I wear the, some of the plaid shirts but for the most part I don't I have in the last few years I haven't had any opportunity to go anywhere or nor did I want to 
but I guess today are we gonna are we just gonna the last two I'm is like I'm I'm so mad at all of these shirts I'm, I'm mad at all of the stuff that I have this it's and it's all junk it's all inexpensive so I guess I don't feel that bad but I mean I paid money for it but I guess one of the rules of minimalism is getting rid of it this was this set it was kind of cute maybe I'll try it on for you like it matches well I don't know if it was supposed to be a set but they had a sweatshirt that matched the shorts and I like them but I could never wear this and they don't fit that well but I really liked how the shorts fit they made me feel like a football player and uh, because it had a matching sweatshirt, I wanted to get it, but I've never really worn it. I think maybe I might have worn it around on a cold day to stay warm. That's not the last thing that I ever... The last... Whoa! Oh, see? That's, that's the problem. If we, had, if we had more space, I have to wash this hanger that I just bought and not mix it with... I mean, I should wash all the hangers. How are we going to do this? Where am I going to put you? How are you not going to drop? I should have planned. I should plan these things more. <sighs> these two. These are the last two I bought. And, oh no. Oh no. And you know what? I don't, like, they, they have holes in them. They're so... Like, the green one is super... It, I mean, it looks like it's army, because it looks like it's just army mesh, and it's green. But then I bought, because they also made it in pink, and I like to wear pink. It's the only color that I really like to wear, except for green, pink, black, and white, and gray. And that's the thing. I would never wear any of these out in public. I would just wear them for YouTube toy reviews, just to color things up, because I do feel kind of boring and everything. But I, I, it's it, what, what am I doing? It's taking it's taking me so long to do this stuff, and it has to be done. I can maneuver things. Chandelier, that chandelier got kept getting beaten up by me. Could this be the thumbnail? No, because it's too. Oh, I can turn the lights on. Let's try that. Can we adjust? Can we color correct? No, that's too bright. That sucks. I could, I could, I could do something about in the closet. I don't know. I don't know how to. We'll have, I'll have to deal with the thumbnail later. Um, do I just? Do I just? The there's something. There's something about these, two, and it's not because I bought them last. I think it's because, you know what it is? It's because cotton stretches out, and these aren't made of cotton. They might have a little bit of cotton in them, but, and that's, I'm such an all-natural kind of guy. Yeah, I've never done anything like this before. Or, or a shirt. Of, there's, a, there's a full-length mirror in here, too, which... I don't have a full-length mirror or use one, and it's really hard for me to access this one because of all the stuff that's in here. But I'm in I'm in the closet right now, so that's that's kind of a cool look too. Anyway, it's this is kind of stylish. I mean, it's too stylish for, and I'd be too hot layering. But mm. okay, whatever. I'm I, I'm keeping those, but I can I can take them off the hangers. What about, do I try to sell them? These are the questions that I kind of have for you. I could, I mean, it can't hurt. Why don't I just make something weigh under one kilogram? Because I think that's the limit. Uh, and uh, look, some of them still have tags on them. I haven't worn them. I don't even like how these fit. I have, you can check out the YouTube wardrobe videos. I did two of them. I did the Barbie Ken Core video too. I had a lot more ties than this. This is what I have whittled down to over the years. Haven't worn a tie in 
possibly 10 years but I have these and these are all classic and then the right thickness for me they're not too thick they're not too thin well some of them are too thin but I I like I like a thin old-fashioned tie 50s 80s but I have some really great ones here uh, we should be talking about tank tops are we gonna go into my suits later Friday fashion Friday we are going to and uh, right now this period in my life it's all about getting rid of it I mean this is, this is a nice this is a nice Ken core shirt and it still has a tag on I guess what I can do like I don't I don't th I had I have put them on like to record a video but I have not washed them and or worn them for more than the length of a video I just bought them so that I could do toy reviews and not be naked or not be shirtless because some people have a problem with that anyway why even look okay, even this oh wow this one's older and I was taking the tags off unfortunately recently okay so that's what I'm gonna do I am gonna just weigh them put them in a bag and uh, maybe some of you will want to own a piece of it oh I love this one I should I should really consider that do I have to try this stuff all on again to make sure I don't know no no I have to get rid of everything like as much as much as I think that I can't have I uh I can be I'm happy wearing this actually and and, and if I have if I wear these tight um, athletic shirts I have to make sure the solid colored ones they make the more sense the most sense but these are hipster colors I hate wearing color I think I've decided that I love wearing pink but also stretching out and the qual I just I just want to start over and if I can get rid of it, then I'll get rid of it. These ones I really, really like. Uh, I like how I like how these are a little bigger. I like the I like the colors of these. I like the It's just so much easier just to I have to get I have to get rid of something. Oh, and it comes in pink too that's what I would do I would buy them in every color this is a, a new a new one never worn I know that it's a bit larger some of them are larger some are depends on what year I bought them in it was over the last three four years that I collected these from the store in Canada is called urban planet it uh those mesh shirts are forever 21 I don't know it's affiliated forever 21 shut down in Canada and then some of the other stores carry it now uh, two other solid ones which came in very handy I would always tend to go to these it was easier to throw on a solid one and I tried to wear these this summer so I would I would put on some of the solid colored ones and they were good for a video because it matched a toy or something I would go to that I love these ones oh maybe I love these ones because because they're not a hundred percent cotton I didn't I looked at the ingredients on these and I noticed that however they have the pockets oh yeah I do like how retro these are they remind me of what was that what was that uh, American Outfitters which was it's very hipster I mean I like the colors these are Barbie core Ken core colors we got the pink and the Ken blue and the pop of yellow like I mean and then I have the gray one it's the pockets though it's the pockets that make them too 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 try hard for me like it's it's a senseless detail uh, uh those little details in clothing are what's important but if it's a, a senseless one like a pocket not for me okay um some of these i cut the i start to cut the pockets off of this one and then because i cut the pockets off it i put a little hole in it 
but you can't really notice it. Uh, this is a great shirt, especially in black. This is, I did this one first so I could wear it. And yeah, again, took off the pocket because, oh no, I'm sure I'm doing this. Because I think it looks silly. I don't know, things are, things are falling over. I don't know why it's falling over. I'm just, it's just, the fact that I can't do it, like the stuff is kind of sparking joy, but the fact that I'm, I don't have a choice, so oh, this one has a tag on it. I guess that'll be good for an auction, so it looks like that they're all, I'll say that they're used and they are used, but people will see in the auction that they have their tags on, so they might think that I'm being honest and saying they're used because I did put them on. I just never wore them out of the house or anything. I was very selective about the patterns I chose. Like these are all like things that spoke to me in some way. Oh yeah, this one has a tag on it too. These are all spacey, but they were from a young person store. And okay, these are a bit more classic. Hmm. But why? Why bother? Why bother having these when I can just throw on a white tank top that goes with everything? And this, I have to worry about matching it with something. See how that works? See how that minimalism works? And it just to get rid of everything just just feels great. Okay, this I bought at this I bought in New York, and. You know what I thought I was buying at a fancy store? What was it, just Macy's? I don't know. In Soho, department store. I don't remember what that what that department store is. Uh, it's it's reversible in, in three ways. It's kind of cool. I don't know what the designer is because it had a label that came off. Oh yeah, I do know what the designer is because here's the tiny little label. I don't know what that means or if it's really a designer or just one of the in-house brands, but it was, I'm keep, oh look, I will keep this. Even though it is just, it's just, it does, it does feel like, it, it feels really futuristic because you can wear it this way, you can wear it this way, you can wear it this way. And the cut of it is so strange but the quality of cotton, I think that's the that's the difference here between all of my clothes is that like I would always I buy cheap things, but as cheap I buy cheap basics from crazy stores, like young stores, but because they're basics, they're not so these are this is the craziest stuff I ever bought, but even this stuff, I took some restraint and chose very carefully and this one. This one's this one is special, and I, I guess I will hold on to this because hey, I mean I've got three different. If I do want to wear a tank top in a toy review, I've got three different options, and it's kind of four different options because you get a little when you're wearing it this way, you get a little pink showing in the back, and when you're wearing it this way, you get a little yellow showing in the back. So, like four different options. It did have a patch on it, on one I think it was right in the middle of the chest. But I think it was supposed to come off. I think it was just a label because it peeled off really easily. So it was like it had four very distinct options. But yeah, it's it's special. It's weird. It's modern. It's it's probably how I would dress if I was extremely wealthy, and I would have a lot of pieces like this. Like even though I'm really old-fashioned and classic there might be some kind of modernist futuristic to my to my style maybe i guess industrial i, I do have that industrial thing going at the same time as being this old fashioned person and then and then there's these t-shirts that i j i just bought this one this one's special to me but i just bought it at walmart and um i didn't wear it anywhere but this is my favorite broadcast casting company. This is why I'm as smart. If if I have any intelligence at all, it is from watching this 
Canadian network because it had some great programming that raised me and uh, taught me so much about the world. I'm um, very grateful, but I did just buy this at Walmart. I was really surprised that they uh, had, Walmart Canada had uh, collaborated with them. But I, I, these are cool shirts, but I have to get rid of them. I guess I could uh, may like I ruined them by cutting off the sleeves, right? But that's that's a me thing. But again, maybe I can just try putting them on the internet and selling them. A Shiva one, a Monster High one, a uh, Masters of the Universe one. Uh, another Masters of the Universe one. A, uh, another Masters of the Universe one. A, it's just easy. A, a really cool retro Barbie one. Which some of them are girl t-shirts. Some of them are supposed to be just this a very, very cool Barbie one. Sleeve cut off for doing toy reviews. So waste, waste of time, money, space. This one, this one I didn't destroy yet. I didn't wear it. That one's like new. Another Masters of the Universe one that's really cool. But I have always spoken out in um, all of when If there's ever um, a fashion rule that I do follow is that I mean, and I know that the kind of people who watch me, and I mean, most of the public do this. Logo T-shirts, they're 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 just not they're not classy. I mean, actually, that's changed a lot. This was kind of a rule for the early two thousands, like to be a grown up, and it was too. But it is it is. I've noticed that it has come become more acceptable for an adult to wear like a. Uh, I'm like it, it. I guess it also depends on it. Like if it's a rock T-shirt, like a classic, um, a, a classic uh, con tour concert tour T-shirt, then it would be fine. I mean, these are so cool. The Hot Wheel, the Hot Wheel. If I was going to keep any of these, even Masters of the Universe, my favorite toy line out of all, but I would, I would keep the Hot Wheels ones because they're, because, I guess because they're so retro and they're like a concert T kind of thing. I guess that's where I was going with that. But I guess it is more acceptable nowadays for an adult, an adult looks. But a, a, a 10 years ago, 20 years ago, I I was really against that. But I still don't, I don't want to go out in public. I'd rather wear something generic. I do like to blend in. I am noticed enough that, uh, I mean, that's probably something, I have talked about that before I'm here probably something that you shouldn't do like if you're sparkling and shining and people are noticing you because you glow and you're you should you should you shouldn't try to hide but the amount of backlash that I've got from being myself my whole entire life has made me rather hide and um, I don't want to I hate drawing attention to myself which is so weird um, under the circumstances of people thinking I'm a narcissism. These ones, I don't like the way that they fit. I think I don't like the colors on. These, are, these ones are easy for, I've been wanting to get rid of these for a long, long time. It's just that the patterns are so cool, especially for YouTube. And then there's the most recent ones that came out in the colors that I really, really like. But I have to stop trying to wear color because it, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't work. And then, hmm. and then I have to, then I have to decide this. I had already, I put, I had, I bought this from Giant Tiger. Uh, I had put this away. I had put this in the pile in a bag of stuff that was to be donated and I pulled it out and I am, I had some, I had some black shorts that were exactly the same as these ones, but in black. And I 
donated them because I have other new ones that I don't like how they fit. I mean, I don't wear them anywhere. I just wear them around the house when I need to be a little warmer. Yeah, but do I get... Okay, I, I, I'm making this decision on, on the, like, this is such a great t-shirt to carry around with me in the wintertime to just to throw on. But I think I'd rather do the mesh ones, even though the, that's the thing, the mesh ones stand out. They're more noticeable. The black one, no one's going to notice me because it's just a simple black tank top. But I'm holding it in my hand, and the Mary Kondo thing says... Uh, and I'm not feeling it. I'm just feeling. And when I hold the other ones, I feel it. So that's the answer. And then, I mean, oh yeah, and then there's a. This one might fit well. I don't know. Here we go. Oh, hair. 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 Hat, hats are great, by the way, for my hair. <laughs> I don't, like, I've seen my hair in some videos, and I didn't like it, but I have been liking it recently. Anyway, am I going to like this? Oh, it's, it's made of the, it's made of the cheap cotton. It's, it's really hard to get these off and on, and then if I'm all sweaty, and this is so tight, that it does make sense to have a loose tank top to wear, but also I'm thinking, why don't I worry about that in the in the summertime? Like I might not even I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't it, if I don't know what to do, it's just easier because I I mean I'm this process is slower because this this time I took you along with me to watch me, but I don't know how fast I have to do this. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm moving out next month or if I'm moving out in three months. I have no, I, I have, or a month. I don't know, I don't know what the intentions, I don't know what the, in, I know what the intentions are. They want to sell the house. But I don't know. I don't know when. All right. I mean, I bought this. It's like I wasted. I wasted money. But you can't think about that. And uh, I might. I'll be homeless, and I'll have just one r really cool shirt that works as three. This isn't. This would not be a good shirt for homeless. This, this is special special washing care and it's so thick and weird yeah when I think about having and it takes up so much it's so thick and it takes up a lot of space like this folded is probably see this is the stuff you have to consider this folded is the same amount of space as probably six six of these My biggest concern is I like how this this will force me. I can't I can't have I can't get fat at all if I have this because I'll look like uh, to have a pot belly and have a what I mean that's kind of a cool look actually. I mean that that's a classic look too. Maybe maybe that's my future. Anyway, you can't I can't have a pot belly and be homeless anyway because I can't eat. Yeah, these are going to be all loose on me because I won't be eating. I'm keeping, I'm, I've decided to keep this. I've decided to keep the two mesh ones and, and I've decided, I've decided to keep these hangers, all of them, because that's what's, that's what's good for me. And I also have these Fruit of the Loom cut off sweatshirts. Is there one that, um, there's one, is there one here that I've had on recently? Yeah. I've showed these before, but, I mean, I saw a new color. There was a new color at Walmart when I was there. There was a brown, kind of a hipster brown, though, and I didn't buy it. And I would usually buy them in, 
we've seen. I, I've, I've done videos where I show these before. Would I really wear these? No, but they spark joy. Maybe, maybe it's because they're not 100% cotton. Here I am trying to be all natural, but 100% cotton clothing, I guess it depends. It depends. I guess there's different quality of cotton or there's different quality of the way that it's woven like that doesn't it's not logical is some cotton fight maybe genetically mod the genetically modified cotton stretches out why is some cotton cheaper than other cotton maybe it's the amount of thread count i should know this i know everything about natural fibers and material i don't know why i don't have an answer um i always thought it was just the construction but i notice a difference in the actual the way that the cotton stretches out over time uh something that's more expensive not all the time but often something that's not expensive will um will last longer and i don't know if it's source materials I'm, I, I don't know. I do know that the, I slept in one of these Hanes ones and it stretched out. And uh, I've slept in one of the Fruit of the Loom ones before or like fallen asleep or just like laid down and like was rolling around in bed or whatever with, with it on. And um, or had it on for two days straight, something like that. And the fruit, the 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 Hanes ones, are, the Hane, the Hanes one stretched out. The fruit of the loom have never stretched out, which uh, I think I think Eddie, you said the opposite. So I mean, things change over time too, manufacturing, and they're also two years apart. So, um, and then my Hanes T-shirts that I wear. I really like. However, that's hit or miss too, because my Hanes t-shirts, the last batch that I got, they were way too short, and I, I had to get rid of all of them because they were too short. Was that enough for today? We have, uh, I was just, I, I briefly looked at those um, last night, my uh, suits, but I think we tackled enough for um, today, at least in the video. Maybe I um, might have to do an in and out kind of video. People do that with in the minimalist thing. They say what they brought in and what they put out in their um, in their days. But I get rid of a lot. Oh, I did not make a thumbnail. I'm gonna have to make a thumbnail independently. These I have to keep. I don't. I I don't know if I'm being. I don't know if I can strategically put them in a box how many boxes it's going to take but I have this this amount times three and I don't I won't am I do I pick and choose the best ones they're all they're all the best ones I, I specifically pick and choose these and some of them have some of them have like different hotel names on them that's really cool oh this one's especially it's the Queen Elizabeth Hotel that means a lot to me I, I love a Fairmont. I, a lot of them are like Fairmont hotels. Holt Renfrew, that's the fancy Canadian mall department store. This one's a baby hanger. I, I wouldn't really need this one. It's smaller than the rest. Uh, but the old fashioned antique pioneer hangers, I gotta keep these. This is what they have to definitely go in the box. And I guess I could look through the ties, but it seems senseless because I've gone through my ties over and over and over again. And I probably had five times as much as these. And these were the best of the best uh, timeless classic ties or timeless classic to me like yeah i'm looking through them right now some are retro but they're retro in the right way and uh yeah some of them are i mean most of them some of them are thrifted some of them are from my favorite store club monaco from the teen the teen 2000s they should be dated but i'm looking at them and they're not they're that 
Ralph Lauren classic workwear dress dressy workwear style that I really really love this one's super weird some of them have an Italian feel silk Italian feel some of them are what's this one this one's weird this one's not exact this one's a little new hipster for me but I could see how I could see how that I would could make that one work that one on the, and then I got all these super cool thin leather ones that that was they were sent to me from from a, 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 a woman on social media many years ago who like I've been live streaming and uh, I wonder if I wonder if she still watches or follows we're Facebook friends I forget you now or I don't I don't remember what the the streams were but I was streaming in the very beginning been loving YouTube oh this one's this one's so weird too this was probably I think this was a thrift find but weird thin 80s crazy pattern it looks like it's got sp it's spilt on but yeah th these are great I'm just looking through these oh and these this is from my Club Monaco New York days uh thin unfinished edge just this beautiful like um, i don't know workwear kind of very 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 oh i love looking they're so thin but i don't right we're so lucky still um too wide a tie is gonna look like a clown tie too thin of a tie yeah i don't it, it doesn't have it doesn't look as out of style as like your ties can be too wide and they can look clowny but a too thin tie I think I, I can't see how how it could ever look bad just like too thick pant legs bell bottoms there was a time where I thought they could never look bad but they do but uh, too thin pants they can look bad at certain periods I don't know. I um, I'm pretty secure in saying that a thin tie is s stylish, but a wide tie, not stylish. You look like a clown. And that's that's a that's an ongoing rule for decades. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna t I'm not gonna take you any further into this. Apparently, I have to see David Beckham's closet because uh, it keeps coming up. Ironically, me doing closet now. Uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't watched that Netflix series, but I think it's in the last episode or something. I it, it, I keep hearing about it. Um, nobody's mentioning it to me specifically, but I mean, it, I'm when I'm listening to stuff, everybody's talking about David Beckham's closet. And it does. It does. What what they're saying does remind me of me because everything has to be perfect. But you can see in here wasn't perfect because because of all the stuff I have. I guess I can get rid of, of the garment rack that I made personally because I found the new one, which is one of the things that I have to keep. Oh, that might be in. I don't know. I don't know what the topics are for Saturday and Sunday. Oh wait, it's it's Fashion Friday. It's Thursday. I made a big mistake. So I'm rec I recorded this video a whole day early. I'm gonna have to record another video for Thursday because I thought that today was Friday and it's Thursday. So what do you think of that? What do you think of that information? At least I got a whole extra day. All right, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you.